Greetings. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come to you and spend a few moments in the Word of God. This week we've been meditating on our in our daily devotional on the subject of money and just uh, examining a few things. Surely there's a lot more in the Bible concerning the subject of money, but our intent is just to bring our attention to a few insights that are given to us in the scriptures. Today, I want to talk about another aspect of blessing people with money or using money to build relationships through which you can bless people. In Luke chapter 16, Jesus gave the parable or the story of the unjust steward or a, or a manager who mismanaged uh, things, the business that he was supposed to handle. So he did a bad job. But then when he knew that he was going to you know, be sent out of his position as a manager, he immediately did use his position to do certain things, to build relationships with people. Now, Jesus did not tell us that, you know, we follow the example of the manager who mismanaged things, but he went on to give us three important lessons out of that story. And one of the things he said, the first lesson he brought out was in Luke 16, verses, uh, verse 9, he said, And I say to you, make friends for yourselves by unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, they may receive you into an everlasting home. What he's saying, and I just put it, we want to put it in plain English, he says, you know, use your money, that is the unrighteous mammon, to make friends, to build good friendships, to bless people, so that when you are in trouble, when you fail, your friends will be there to help you. But he put it, just put it in plain English. In other words, use money to bless people. Of course, the intent is not just that you will get something back from people, but you know that the point is your friendships are more important. Your relationships are more important. Blessing people through those relationships are more important than the money itself. So think about this. Yesterday, we talked about investing money. Today, I want to present to you this insight that you can use your money to bless people so that they will in turn do something good to you if ever that need arises. In Proverbs 3 and verse 27, the Bible says, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do so. So you've got something in your hand. There's somebody who, whom you can help, maybe a close friend, somebody you need. Help them to whatever extent you can. Of course, we can't help everybody. Our Whatever we have is still finite. The need is infinite. But you help somebody. You bless their lives with what you have. And there, the friendship that you build, the good thing that you do, will in some way, some form, some fashion, come back to bless you. So cast your bread upon many waters. For after many days, it will come back to you. Ecclesiastes 11, 1 says. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us use money to bless lives, to foster good relationships with people, to value relationships above money, so that lives can be blessed and built up. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.